I'm pretty happy with how we went, to be honest. It's so annoying that you had it. I, I did have it, didn't I? Yeah. But that's part of paying for a team, you know, the weakest link. Sometimes we'll put the brakes on, but the whole scribe thing aside, I'm, I'm wrapped with the money. Be a hero. Go yourself sometimes. Well, I guess I just held back a little bit for you. Weak. Caring. We're out. We're out. We're out. It's just like our university days. We're out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you said... Uh, we thought maybe scribe. Thought maybe scribe. The correct answer. The first question did take a while. I think it's because I, instead of really helping Hamish, I was just trying to confuse him. <laughs> Lots of zeros. You know, there was a lot of zeros in that number. I'm not great with zeros. Mm. Often, you know, my mobile number, I just think it starts with the four. But yeah. no. Zeros zero, are there tough. There is a zero in there. Zeros are tough for me. So I was surprised by the Warrigal tonight. The, the Warrigal, Warrigal being a dingo. Who has heard of that? The question should have been, does a dingo have four legs? Yes or definitely. That would have been a better question. Well, I can tell you that the Australian animal you're looking for that's also known as the warrigal is the dingo. Is it really? Is that right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> we say, a warrigal's got my baby. Yeah. A warrigal's got my baby. <laughs> that's good. But Sarah saved us. Yeah. In fact, we are really lucky to have her there. Who knows what a warrigal is? It's unbelievable. As with... All our uni and schooling, we didn't study enough, Ham. No, no. I do remember my year five teacher saying at the time, you know, remember this stuff, there will be a test later. I did not hear her whisper for a quarter of a million dollars on national television. Mm. But now I regret that I didn't hear that. And back then I used to study the girls uh, in the class. I did not do that tonight. I kept it all oh. above board. I would have loved How Hot Is Mia Brown in the fifth grade. <laughs> I was great at that back when I was ten. The second grade literature question... Old King Cole, really? He, he did not crack his crown, he had a great time. No. He was a merry old soul. Of course he was a merry old soul. It was silly to question how merry old King Cole was, because <laughs> he was having a ball, and I, I'm, I feel ashamed that I wished a cranial injury on him. <laughs> but at the same time, Jack did fall over and bump his head. We should have seen that. He's nimble and quick in other... Um, no, have you go at Jack. No. He's just unfortunately in this situation. He did hit his head and we should have known that. Yeah. Yeah. If you were doing Tom Thumb, you'd focus the lyrics on his thumb. Well, the problem care about his head. <laughs> he maybe was looking at his thumb, bumped his head. <laughs> well, Jack Connor sat in the corner eating Christmas pie. He bumped his head and went to bed. No, everything works. That's the problem. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty sat on it all, fell off. Hey, bed. Humpty Dumpty. No, mate. He was, his head was smashed. Couldn't all put him back <laughs> yeah. The hundred grand question. I, um was very confident with the typhoon ham. Yeah, yeah, no. I remember me being a bit more confident <laughs> than you. I think you might have said tornado. Uh, no. But once again, luckily, I was there. I said and, two uh, of them. I got us through, thank God. Yeah, I can Only for them. Andy. Had the guts. To then later ruin it. Best moment was when Jesse saved us on the 150 grand question. Um, I just didn't hear the question right. I don't know what your excuse was at the start. No, I, I thought it was, um, what do you think a cute girl's name is? And I think Asia's a very pretty name. Mm. But uh, So I guess in a way I did get it right, just for a different question. Uh, these boys might have been a fifth grader, that's what we're trying Maybe. to find out. And uh, we're currently sitting on $100,000 for the Heart Foundation, trying to make it $150,000. Which continent is the world's highest capital city? You said Asia. Incorrect. Okay. The correct answer is South America. Oh, come on, Jesse. Come on, Jesse, indeed. Have a look. The final question. The, uh, the controversy of the night, uh, where... The question that broke up this duo. We we're no longer going on. You, you can't listen to the radio show anymore. Let me... You will not see us on Rove anymore. That's it. It's Let out. me tell you a story about a really cool, suave guy that was smart and confident with his answers, but hung out with a bit of a doofus that questioned the cool, smart guy. Sounds like an awesome film. The doofus sounds like a hilarious guy. Love no, it. the Love doofus it. cost the Heart Foundation a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Scribe that down. Why? Scribe a sorry note to the Heart Foundation. I don't want it. Hands tied.
150 we've got in our ham. Family and friends will say... We haven't we... got it. The Heart Foundation I know. has it. That's a shame. No, that... it's not a shame. It's great. We're really glad we've won it for the Heart Foundation. And hopefully, family and friends... Yeah, but how many, out... how many jet skis can we buy from with that? doesn't matter. Hearts are more productive for human race than jet skis. I think for any of our family friends now... How many hearts have you seen in a film? Do you know how many people suffer from heart disease? Hey, mate. Now we get to go to their bedside and do a bit of... We'll be good. We, we help with that. Really good to see our fifth grade teachers again. Yeah. I'm going to go for a beer with mine now. I am going to go for a tiny chocolate milk with mine. Why break tradition? Word of advice for future contestants. The answer is scribe. It's yes. always scribe on the 250,000. Lock in scribe. Don't listen to others.